YouTube. I'm back again for another unboxing video, and today I'm very excited to be unboxing Campaign for President, the Deluxe Edition from Double Critical. This is for three to six players, ages eight plus, take about 45 minutes to play. Very distinct style box. Do like the box, like the artwork. Do you have what it takes to be president? Campaign for president in a lighthearted game for ages eight and up where you eat your candidates for president competing for the most voters by election day. Looks like a card-driven game. It's very large. Very large box. Oh, to hold the poppers. Okay, rules. 16 pages, double-sided. Looks a lot of, lot of text there. Okay, I like these examples, but a lot of text in those. Okay, that's going to diminish the excitement level a good deal. What is this? Waiver, I humiliate. You take 50 million voters from another candidate and add them to your voter pool. Okay, so take that style card game. Standard D6 dice. Let's take a look. Ooh, that's uh, that's nice. That's nice. Not thematic, but it, that's still nice that it, it's in there. All right, this is, that's a pop-out. Okay, <laughs> that's a really weird pop-out. Very thin. What is this? Is this like a player? This is a middle reference, I'm going to guess. Oh, this is a, a little cheat sheet. Oh, everybody's got one. Oh, there's more. Okay, okay. Like that. Does it stand up? Let's, oh, it actually passes the test of being functional because you would be surprised how many of these are not functional. So, lots of rules here. I love this. This is what I want. Every single person can look at this and they know exactly what they need to know. They don't have to go to the rule booklet, hopefully. This gets me excited. Boom, I'm at a nine right now because I do love politics. Politics is something that is uh, very near and dear to me. Oh, oh there's two pop-outs there. Okay, so what do we got? Different ones of these. I'm wondering if these are where you're going to put dice on them. Oh, there we go. They are nice enough. Okay. I don't feel like they're going to get too many ripped edges. Perfectly serviceable. That's what you're going to get right there. I'm going to guess this is the currency in the game. Yeah, those are millions of voters. And other than that, we just have cards, cards, and more cards. And then we'll get you out of here. So let's take a look at some of these cards. Oh, my gosh. They're easy to open. I didn't have to gouge at them with this pen. That's normally what happens. All right. Oh, okay. Talent. Problem. So these are different talents that you're going to have for your... Wow. Okay. I do like this. This is digging in the weeds a little bit here. Incumbent, your party, uh, your running mate. I like that. If you're going to go into the theme, I want you to go in hard. Okay. Let's take a look at the artwork. The artwork is different states. Okay. This makes sense th from a thematical perspective. I'm going to guess these are the states that you're winning. I like that. I really do. This is getting me excited. We're up to a 9.4. Like, I am super excited. Artwork uh, is going to be hit or miss. I personally don't mind the artwork, but I think some people are really going to dislike this style of artwork. That's just from my own personal experience. People are weird about artwork, though. You got a good theme. I don't care about your artwork in the least, personally. But I am in the minority there, I do believe. All right, campaign for president. What do we got? Some campaign managers. Yeah, they're going to have their own special abilities. You get, depending on who you get, it works thematically. What are these cards? Institution. Okay, packs. So these are going to be the different cards that you're going to play. Okay, I'm hoping there's not too much take that. It looks like there's going to be some take that. Oh, great debate. I like it. Like it. Okay. So I'm going to put this one at an 8.8 because the bottom line is I, I'm worried that there's going to be too much. Take that. Oh, errata. Put it in there. From the main deck, please discard the two I humiliate cards with a black blowhorn speaker, replacing them with corrected cards with a red icon in the upper left hand corner. The insert tray included to hold dice and punched out tokens also was designed to accommodate your cards. Should you choose to put protective sleeves on them that's really nice that shows me they know what they're doing they know what the people are going to want i like that that uh, i want to check out what these cards are i'm very oh wait oh wait is this okay so we could actually let's figure out what they thought was not going to work in the game let's let's dig into this game so it's called the i humiliate you cards with a blood well they got a megaphone all right so we're looking for the megaphone no there's oh these are okay Oh, there it is. Perfect. I humiliate. You take 15 million voters from another candidate and, them and add them to your voter pool. You take 15 million voters. You take 15 million voters from another candidate and add them to your voter pool. And add that. What? Uh, I don't see the difference. You take 15 million voters uh, from another candidate and add them to your voter pool. Maybe it's the symbology. I mean, I guess it's the symbology, perhaps. Who knows? Uh, which is good. 
Very interesting. But there you go. I am excited. I'm going to put this one at a 8.8. .8. If I were more to take that style of card games, like my friend Lucy is, I would probably rank this higher because I really do like the theme. But there you go. That is Campaign for President, the Deluxe Edition. I wonder what was deluxe about this. I wonder what's the difference between this and the non-deluxe version of the game. From Double Critical, if it looks like it might be your cup of tea, be sure to check that one out. If you're enjoying what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.